Hey guys, and welcome to the first fireside chat of Ray's Trains. Uh, as you can see, we've got a roaring fire going here, even though it's 50 degrees outside. <laughs> I've got my slippers on and everything. So this is a series I've been excited to start. And the fireside chats are just going to be maybe current events going on in the hobby or catalog releases. So that's what we're going to talk about today is the big book of Lionel. Um, anyone who's had a YouTube channel has already made a video on this catalog like three months ago. So I'm very late to the party, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out on it. I'm not going to go through every page, but maybe talk about what I'm going to get and some of the things that interest me. So let's get right into it. Um, um, they brought back the big boys um, at 2,900 bucks. That's gonna be a pass from me. Um, I'd like to have one, but it's just, that's a lot of money with me starting out. And also 072 is, is might be a problem for me going forward. Uh, I'm gonna do a layout design and construction video uh, coming up here on the channel. So look out for that. Um, and I, I don't think I can make 072 work, unfortunately. So maybe I'll never get a big boy, but we'll see. I'm gonna skip over some things here. The big boy set is very cool, even though it's $4,500. Oh my God. Um, but you get a vision caboose, you get vision reefers, vision stock cars. Um, you get the big boy and you get a new freight sounds box car. So yeah, 4,500 bucks. That's going to be a no for me, but, uh, looking forward to see some people open this thing on YouTube. I, I can't wait to see the box of this thing. You're probably gonna need a forklift to get it in and out of your house. So I don't think you're going to be hiding this uh, from the wife. Um, vision reefers, uh, vision stock cars. I do like the vision stock cars. I'd like to have some eventually, but quilling sheep. I, I don't like sheep. That, that doesn't interest me. Uh, I'd want to get some probably that have cows. Um, cause I did, uh, we did have cows on the farm that I worked at. Uh, so yeah, I worked cattle all the time for, for, uh, like 11 years I worked cattle. So wouldn't say I miss it, but I have a soft spot for uh, cattle. <laughs> All right, we get into the engines now, the Dreyfus Hudsons. I know a lot of people were excited about that. And with me being from New York, you'd think I'd be excited about these New York Centrals, but I'm really not. I don't know why. They just, uh, I just don't feel like I need to have one. Um, $1,800. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going. Uh, Russian decapods. These are cool. I almost got one, but ultimately passed. Um, these L1s are also cool. I love these long tenders. Uh, and I like the one with the red roof, the short tender one. Um, but I didn't get any of those. 484s, I'm just going to skip. Okay, now, my first pre-order uh, as a Lionel customer, <laughs> I did get a Camelback, and I went with the Atlantic City Railroad because the colors are just too cool uh, to pass up to me. And uh, me and my wife like going to Atlantic City. We like going to Vegas, and we like going to um, this paint scheme is actually uh, real, even though people might think it's goofy. Uh, you can Google it. There aren't any colored pictures of it. There's only black and white photo, but um, they actually made a stamp of it, a postage stamp. So you can Google that. It's actually really cool. All right, the diesels. 
I thought for sure I would be pre-ordering a diesel and I did not. Um, got some AA units here, we're just gonna skip that and go right to the ES44 ACs. Now I thought I was gonna pre-order one of these, but none of the road names moved me. Um, the Conrail one kinda did, but I, I really wanted a CSX one. Um, and at $750, which is, I mean, that's a lot for just a diesel, $750. Um, I just, I couldn't do it. If it was a CSX engine, I probably would have, would have pre-ordered one, but none of these, you know, don't, don't really excite me. Um, the Burlington Northern looks cool. Like I said, the Conrail is the only one I probably would have gotten. And it, it does look awesome. But uh, hopefully next next year's catalog, or maybe in the fall if they release another catalog, uh, I'll get a road name I like. NW2's, gonna skip that, even though this Lehigh Valley one looks cool. GP20's, I'm gonna skip that. All right, the sets. I'm just gonna talk briefly about the sets. I love how many sets they offered in this catalog. Um, I, I hope they do this in every one going forward. Um, this Lehigh Valley Camelback set is probably one I would have pre-ordered if I didn't already get the Atlantic City Camelback, and I also already have the Bobber Caboose, um, so that would have been pretty redundant. But I think I saw pre-order price on this was about a thousand bucks or nine ninety nine. Definitely worth it. I hope people get this one because I think it's important that Lionel has lower uh, sets to offer instead of just the ones that cost uh, $4,500. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like this set a lot. Um, next set, this was hard for me not to get. Uh, the Union Railroad Hot Metal Train Legacy Set. Um, this is a real railroad out of Pittsburgh. My wife's family is all from Pittsburgh, so this would have been a cool one to get. Uh, you get two hot metal cars with a glowing hot metal load, so it's gonna glow orange. You get some buffer cars, or buffer gondolas here, and the NW2 switcher. I might pick this one up after the fact, if I can find it, because um, this one looks really cool. I'm definitely, if I don't, I'm definitely buying one of these hot metal cars. I like that they're selling those separately. Um, now people were saying these, this was an MTH tooling, but Lionel said it's not. They said it's their own. So I thought that was interesting. The Iron Hippo set, I'm gonna skip that. And these Rock Island and Santa Fe Express set, I'm gonna skip that. All right, the Rolling Stock. I'm gonna talk about this quick. I'm probably gonna buy this Lionel Play World um, trailer because it looks cool. Wow, my fire's really going here. I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> uh, okay, and I'm definitely going to get this Conrail PS5 gondola with the yellow. That looks really cool. Definitely going to buy one of those. And moving on, grain door box cars, I'm going to skip. N8 cabin cars, I'm gonna skip. Um, I will probably be picking up the standard O beams, standard O center beam flat cars. I'm gonna get, uh, they have CSX road name. I'm probably gonna pick one of these up. I like that Lionel is offering cheap uh, rolling stock for like 50 bucks. It says 65, but I'm sure your dealer, you can get it for 50, $55. Definitely gonna pick up uh, that. All right, now we move to traditional O. Um, now this isn't in the book, but I am gonna talk about it because I know it's here on the online page. The O60 T's. These things are little beasts. I'm definitely going to pick up this New Haven one. Um, if you haven't seen, RBP made a video on one of these things and he's pulling like it was either 30 or 40 scale pieces of rolling stock with this tiny little engine. And 
it's a beast. It, it pulled it no problem. And unfortunately, they upped the price $100 because I think everyone realized, I, I think the old price was $250 uh, when Chris had made the video. And then the vi it was so great that everyone, I guess, wanted one. Or they're like, eh, let's just up it by $100. I don't know how that little thing... It doesn't. It doesn't need to cost more than $100. That's what they did. But still, at $350, I'm picking one up. Everyone should get one of those things. And just, I can't wait to make a video like Chris did and just hook every piece of rolling stock up to it and try and pull it around. So, yeah. I like the red roof one, too. But probably going to get the New Haven one. Okay, the RDC Bud Cars. Um... I didn't pre-order this. I'm probably gonna pick up these New Havens though. Um, I like Bud Company a lot. They're still running uh, M1s and M3s on Metro North Railroad. I still ride them a lot to go to Yankee games. So I love Bud Com anything Bud Company. So I will probably be getting these Bud cars. I'll probably get both, the powered and the non-powered unit. All right, moving on to the Disney 100. Now, me, my wife, and my daughter are big Disney fans in this house. Uh, we like Star Wars, we like Marvel, we like Disney, we like Pixar, we like it all. So you would think this is up my alley, but I don't know, it just, it didn't, didn't excite me, this train. I don't know why, uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna skip it, but I'm glad they put something out for the 100th anniversary. Or 100 years with, with working with Lionel, I guess is what it is. Um, and also the hand car, I know that's gonna be a big deal. I'm sure a lot of people pre-ordered this thing. Again, doesn't really excite me, but I this might be one of the biggest things in the whole catalog. And if you go on the website, I like how they have a bunch of different colors too. Um, so it is cool, but not something I got. All right, next page, Willy Wonka. Now, this is where they got me, guys. <laughs> Even my wife saw this and she thought it was awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna buy everything on both pages. I'm gonna get the Willy Wonka set for sure. I love the Oompa Loompas and both cars like dancing around. I'm gonna buy the Everlasting Gobstopper tank car. It's got little gobstoppers in it. I can't wait to shake that thing up. And the Willy Wonka bar packaging facility. They reused the old sawmill and you got your chocolate logs going in there, coming out as Wonka bars. It's a Lionel plug and play accessory. Definitely probably getting that too. So they got me on the Wonka page. Next, you're getting your uh, Halloween stuff. They clearly love Halloween at Lionel and Christmas. Um, and we are big Halloween people here too, but this fast fright service doesn't really excite me. Now, this is an interesting page, the horror page. A lot of people thought this was an odd by Lionel to put this in here. I love it. I'm getting this Exorcist car, the Exorcist floating Reagan car. So I guess Reagan goes back and forth as it goes around the the track, um, totally buying that. At least just to put it on the shelf uh, for Halloween. My wife has about six giant plastic tubs of Halloween stuff that we put out anyway. So this Reagan car will be a nice addition. I might even get the Pennywise car from It, where he's playing peekaboo and he comes out and the balloon comes out. I think that's awesome. I love that Lionel did something different there. I don't know how many people are actually going to buy it other than me because <laughs> it's so weird, but that that definitely spoke to me. All right, we're almost done here, I think. Got some uh, Lion Chief sets that look cool. Texas Special. I'm just going to skip these. Um, some John, more John Deere stuff, uh, which I already have enough John Deere stuff, I think, except for, actually for one item. Stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to uh, be showing off one more John Deere item that I got. All right. I think this is going to be one of the last pages I talk about. Yeah. 
um, this Justice League page, the DC page, uh, me and my wife and my daughter, we love Marvel, we love DC. So this DC LexCorp Kryptonite Hopper, uh, definitely buying that. It's got a, it's pink, it says LexCorp on it, and then it's got a glowing kryptonite load inside. I mean, <laughs> that is just awesome. And then this Wonder Woman flat car with the invisible jet. I'm probably picking that up too. They made me laugh with that one. Uh, it's just a flat car that they have a little shadow painted on for Wonder Woman's invisible jet. And they have the tie downs. Uh, good on them because that's funny. And I'm probably going to pick that one up too. All right, Harry Potter. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I did buy a Hogwarts Express. I have not reviewed it yet, so keep an eye out for that. I love that they made the other house uh, crest coaches here. You've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And I'm probably going to buy one of each of these because we love Harry Potter in this house too. And this is way overdue. Um, so good on Lionel for making the different colored coaches because they've been making that Hogwarts Legacy set forever and I think a lot of people have wanted these other colored uh, passenger cars. So definitely gonna get one of each of those. And I think that's gonna do it, guys. Yeah. Um, oh, and Christmas. Yeah, they love Christmas at Lionel. Uh, and this, I will say, this North Pole, Pole Central Legacy EAAA set is awesome. The Sleigh Bell Limited. And they made the pa matching passenger cars. Uh, good on them, because that's gonna, that may sell like second best to the Mickey uh, hand car. Uh, a lot of people are gonna buy that. It's a lot of money. It's uh, 1200 bucks. But, uh, and that's just for the engines, it doesn't even count the passenger cars, but I think that's really cool. I can't wait to look at that uh, on YouTube, somebody opening that. And that's kind of it, I think. So yeah, my big ticket item uh, was the Camel Atlantic City Camelback. That should be my first legacy engine, unless I get something at York. So. I'm very excited for that to come in the winter, probably around Christmas time. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. And I think that was a good way to dip my toe into Legacy, is the little Camelback. And like I said, I am getting a bunch of the other stuff, the Willy Wonka set, a bunch of cars, uh, but I didn't, I didn't pre-order that because that, that stuff will be around, so. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the first fireside chat on raised trains. Thankfully, my fire's going out because I'm melting, but uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All right.